Hello all. Today our discussion of 1 Thessalonians 5, 13, 14, and 15 should be very short. We likely don't have any trouble understanding the meaning of these verses. The challenge is in obeying them, right? Paul is talking here about a series of practical exhortations, practical admonitions. And what are they? Notice verse 13. Hold your leaders in high regard and love them. The next verse, be a peacemaker. Number three, get involved in the lives of others. Number four, exercise patience with those who are not as strong as you might wish them to be. And then our reading for today in verse 15. As I said, these verses are all about application, and here's where the rubber meets the road. You know we're not just engaged in this study for academic purposes. We're not just studying Scripture for what we can learn from it. We want to apply it. We want to do what Scripture tells us to do. And the Apostle Paul has several commands for us here. And I might ask you, which of these exhortations gives you the most trouble? Is it getting involved in the lives of others to the extent that you encourage the faint-hearted and help those who are spiritually weak? Is it that you have trouble being patient with all people? Well, it may be that verse 15 is the one that gives you trouble. Where Paul says, Do not repay evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to all. You notice the absolutes in that passage. Always do good, not only to one another, but to everyone. Now, there's one that would give anyone trouble. Do good to everyone. What would this world be like if we Christians made it our aim to do good to everyone we met, to do what was in their best interests, to love them the way Jesus loved people? Oh, what a wonderful world this would be. Well, God bless you as you try to obey this passage today, as you try to put it into practice. And let me know how you're doing with these verses. I'd like to hear from you. God bless you.